Hi everyone, so today's makeup look is this whole inspired makeup tutorial. And yeah, I really wanted to do a fall makeup look just because it's already September 1st. So I'm filming this on the first day of September because even though it's not fall yet, to me, when people say it's September, I right away think about all the stuff that you see in the fall. So, yeah, I'm really excited that I get to wear these type of colors now. So, yeah, I really hope that you guys like this look. If you want to see more makeup tutorials uh, like this or fall makeup looks, any look in general, or if you have... Um, any makeup look that you would like me to recreate, tag me on Instagram at MissRuth2121 and I will do that for you. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this and I will now get started on this makeup So look. this is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to apply it all over the eyes and I'm going to take it up to the brow bone. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are very familiar with this. This is like the most used eye base primer. So yeah, it's like a, I would definitely say like a primer base all in one. Just because it's pro long wear and it's the best. And I'm bringing it down to the lash line as well. And so now that that's done, I'm going to set the base with one of my favorite just skin tone shades, and that's Blank Type by MAC. I put Blank Type in here, and I like it because it's um, a matte squared, so it's a lot more pigmented than like brulee by mac before i forget i have to keep this out like right in front of me because otherwise i forget i'm trying out this lash growth and lash and brow growth serum like all natural cosmetics line and it is wink the brand so this was sent to me and i've been trying it out I haven't been as consistent with this as I should be, but, you know, I, that's why I put it out here because, I mean, I don't want to forget to use it. So, I've been pretty good about applying it for like a week and a half now. So, this is Blanc Type by MAC. So, even if I don't use it to set my my uh eyeshadow base or primers i like to use it also uh just like a lid color or like sometimes even as an inner corner highlight so now i'm going to take the color bamboo by mac so i'm going to apply it with this it cosmetics brush and I really like this brush for so many things. I mean, I contour with this. I contour my nose with this. I use it when I want to do like uh, just a light uh, crease color. And yeah, it's just a really good brush. And it also is great for like blending out like harsh edges. one of my favorite brushes of all time and I really recommend it and it is called so I'm recommending it but I'm not telling you guys what it's called right uh this is the heavenly luke's number five brush and this was sent to me but I'm pretty sure that you can get it like at Ulta or wherever they sell it cosmetics I know Ulta sells it cosmetics, so um, I'm pretty sure they should have it there. 
Now, whatever I use, I will list it down below. So this is the next color, and this is by Makeup Forever. Uh, so it's one of the new artist eyeshadows, and I will put the name of the shadow down below. It's just basically like a warm, rosy shade. For that, I'm going to use the MAC 217 brush, and I'm uh, do a heavier concentration of this color. So, I'm gonna build it up. Okay, so now I'm going to take it into the inner corner of the eye and the outer corner. So now I'm going to take Makeup Geek Cupcake Eyeshadow. So this is more of a purpley pink shade. Um, whereas the other one was a little bit warmer, so that's just going to go like really in the socket of the eye, so just really precise in the crease. Okay, so the next two colors that I'm now going to be using are also by Makeup Geek. This is High Tea, which is a matte mossy green, a deep mossy green, I would say. And I'm going to mix it with Preppy. Now, again, inner part of the eye of the crease and I mean so first we're doing the inner part of the lid and just blending it upwards a little bit now we're doing the outer part connecting it <laughs> so yeah now just going to concentrate it on the inner and outer part and blend it and then just bring it in but I'm not going past the like pinky shades oh if you lost any of that like um, pinky mauve shade you can go back with a large blending brush and just apply it over but above the other shades you want to take your time blending and now I'm going to take and it's again by Makeup Forever and yeah it's this one right here I've really been liking it to deepen up the outer corner. I'm going to take it with this Makeup Forever brush. It's like a blending pencil type of brush, but I really like it. Um, but as you can see, that just really helps deepen up those other shades and it complements it complements those shades really well. I'm going to do the inner part. I'm 
Now I'm just cleaning off the like uh, fallout and just making a sharper line. So now I'm going to take another one of my favorite brushes and this is by Sedona Lace. This is the EB15 and blending out the innermost part of the crease and the outer edge of the brushes and the bristles just really help blend it out so that's why I like this brush so much. A tiny bit of black and this is from the Lorac uh, to go palette. It's like the mini all matte palette uh, and I'm taking jet black so I'm just going to use this smaller shader crease brush by Sigma and the one that I used before was just a really small smudge brush but I don't want to add too much black like I said um, just a little bit just to intensify the outer corners Okay, so now that that's done, now we're going to move on to the center of the lid. For that, I'm going to be using this really pretty uh, eyeshadow. This is the Foiled Eyeshadow in a Fortune Teller by Makeup Geek. This is what it looks like. And then I apply it right on the center of the lid. So, or wherever you're going to apply this. And I'm also going to apply it right here on the middle part. Now that the brush is wet, it's going to be easier to pick up product. So what I do is I just uh, slide it down the eyeshadow. I don't like swirl it around. And then I pack it onto the area where I want it. So I, I slowly do this because if not then it's, you know, going to transfer. So I'm going to just apply it to where I want it exactly. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take the uh, Mossy Green shade again and I'm just going to join those two colors together just so that it doesn't look like I just slapped on the color. Now I'm going to take a glitter. I wanted to use just the NYX uh, crystal glitters. Crystal, yeah, I believe they're liquid crystal liners. But I don't know what happened to my gold one. I think I threw it away. So uh, I'm going to use this one, but I'm only going to use the one. So now, uh, since the NYX wand already has some of that like uh, gel make the gold stick on there outer part of the bottom lash line and the inner parts now I'm going to apply this dark shade
Okay, so now I'm going to apply some lashes. I'm going to stack a pair of the Red Cherry number 42s, but I will trim these a little bit. And are the Ardell Demi Wispy of this mascara. Now I'm taking Nylon by MAC, and it's just a really pretty highlight shade. And I'm applying it to the inner corner. So now for my blush, I'm going to use one of my, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite, like, a pinky mauve blushes. And this is the Inglot blush in number 28 and I really like this blush so this is number 28 it's really natural looking so I really like it for my highlight now for my highlight I'm going to be using soft and gentle by MAC so this is soft and gentle and what I like to do is I like to wet my brush with fix plus right here, mainly on the cheekbones, obviously, and I do bring it a little bit in, and then I bring it up a little bit. And adding Fix Plus just really intensifies it. So the first option is more of a, mm, more of a lighter, pinkier, you know, so it's like a much lighter color. The next option that I picked out is Limbo by ColourPop. And this one again is a liquid lipstick and I just thought, you know, going with the whole warmth and gold theme, maybe this one. Then, yes, I'm not, old, I'm not done. Uh, I decided also, mainly because I've been wearing this to death. Seriously, I've been wearing this non-stop. And this is Lolita by Kat Von D. Um, I have lovesick, but it's more of a purple tone. So, Lolita. And then we have Bumble. Which also goes well. This is similar to like Antique Velvet by MAC, which I just purchased as well. So, yeah, and I have many more where that came from. So, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll do Antique Velvet just because I want it to be kind of fall inspired. So, yeah, we'll do a bold dark Vino by MAC, which is one of the well, yeah, one of the darkest lip liners I own. So. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fall inspired makeup tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you would like to see more fall inspired makeup looks, please uh, like this video and comment down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!